yes. Greetings, how's everyone doing? Yes, I'm back. We shall commence normal scheduling once again now that my rig is finally up and running as intended. It's a beautiful monster of a machine. And yes, there is a new background. I'm really feeling this one. Quite like the color scheme. It's very cozy. But anyway, let's get back to the video. Because I see our friend V is uh, pleasantly kicked a hornet's nest. And I always like when V does the kicking. Mainly because he never gets stung himself for some bizarre reason. It's more like he drop kicks it across a neighbor's fence and just watches the stupid neighbor investigate it rather than just leaving the thing the hell alone. Why people always take V's bear, I will never know. It's just stupid and funny. Now, I'm sure many of you have seen this. Uh, this Fallout poster tweet that went viral. And I did say the story was going to be absolutely awful purely because the bloody trailer for the Amazon show looked so cheap and cringe and it had presumably an overseer who's a cyclops. The vaults are supposed to seal people from radiation. So much for the law, and then I watch Arch talk about it, and yeah, pretty much all confirm my suspicions if you're even the slightest bit aware of the Fallout storyline. The claims of the writers and producers that they would stick to the law was a colossal lie of epic proportions, much like damn near everything else emanating from Hollywood for well over a decade at this point. Unless it features only heterosexual males of European origin and bugger all else, then for some reason they can still produce excellent stuff. <laughs> Why that is, I have absolutely no clue whatsoever. But anyway, Mutahar writes the following. This is what crippling porn addiction looks like. This isn't even rage bait, no, it's just straight up stupid. And by the way, first world complaint here, but can you twats freaking quote tweet each other instead of this screenshot and crap? My word, you're just making it more time consuming for people following this. But especially me, who has to screenshot and edit this bollocks. V coming in, straight men liking women's asses is porn addiction. Must be one of the biggest brain takes of our generation. Yeah, freaking tell me about it, mate. Biggest brain replies, yeah, your argument starts to fall on its ass, haha, when AI is used to modify a real human to fit this standard. Clearly, this man has never touched a woman in his entire life, by the way. I love how this is also part of the massive fallout law you want to specifically preserve so bad for some reason, LMAO. AI also missed the top half of her body, by the way. This is not part of the law. This is an AI depiction designed to shitpost you fucking imbecile. Uh, feel free to go to V's Twitter and take a gander. It's just an owning. It's pretty funny, actually. Now, I am not here to give some intellectual justification for the depiction of beauty in Mother Nature's more raw forms, mainly because I deem myself far too inadequately equipped for such a task. Besides, his voices from bygone eras whose works have rigorously defended this in ways I will never be able to, both in literary works and sculpted forms. I will just say beauty is a necessary cornerstone that maintains the human soul, and its absence will be felt in an ever increasingly acute form as its lacking presence will rob the civilization of any aspiration or joy. Inevitably it will succumb to decay and wither away, till the people are hollowed out in broken shells, cold and void of any life or sparks of divinity. What I would like to discuss though is the reality of the sexes and the excessive commercialization of sexuality. Like I said previously, the whole gimmick of feminism was women are equal to men, we are more than just our bodies. No you aren't. By virtue of womanhood, women are fundamentally different to their male counterparts, physically, hormonally and psychologically. To say I'm just as good as a man at everything is not only out of touch with reality, it's to embody the ramblings of the LARPing transvestite. Everywhere you find women. You will find bloat, unnecessary complications, drama and dysfunction that results in lowered productivity and an increase in cost. Any arena that is male dominated and functioning will suffer if you introduce women. That is just a fact of reality, whether you like it or not. Take a look at Twitter, pre and post Elon for example. The fact of the matter is this, women cannot compete on equal footing with men in many areas because they aren't men, they're women. So what do they use for leverage to make up this gap? vulgar and base appeals to coomers, not even alluring or even sensual, merely ugly prostitution, unromantic and frankly unsexy, grubby sex bereft of the feminine charm, all catch and no chase. Feminism has been used to champion physical sexual liberation no matter how degrading or damaging this is to society. Now it's I am woman, hear me roar, the cost of my only fans, but that destroys any femininity. It is the distillation of what feminists said the male gaze unchecked would do the distillation of a woman down to her holes in the name of liberation. It's the essence of my body, my choice and the expression of consent culture. As long as you're degrading yourself, then anything is permissible. As long as it's contractual, then no harm, right? 
This is the liberal moral worldview incarnate. It's a video you make for $50 that your son sees five years later in the playground and spends $50,000 on therapy because of. Couple the fact that thanks to technology, the currency of modernity is attention. And the best way to garner mass appeal is, of course, sex, shock, and stupor. Which is why you find a score of women all over the likes of Fresh and Fit and the Whatever podcast who see no problem with selling their bodies, which is not a surprise the moment they talk you can see why they're in the fields they're in. See it everywhere. Only fans, TikTok videos, Instagram, YouTube thumbnails. Again, this has all been championed. Naturally, this is all designed to get attention and to get the attention of men. When your civilization is designed solely for commercialism and bugger all else, ethics goes out the window and it deteriorates into a rat race for numbers. Thank you, Leiden. And if you're going to drown the market in excess of sex, men being creatures of pattern recognition will notice what sells and sells well. And seeing as women have objectified themselves in an ungodly quantity, or if I'm being far too generous here, technology has made it appear that to be the case, you leave the door open for objectification for profit in other forms. As a consequence, the cycle cranked to 11, virtually any depiction of femininity has become synonymous with pornography. Let's face it, to suggest anyone who appreciates this has a pornography addiction is just straight up stupid. I do not understand this perspective of seeing anything that can be perceived as sexual is instantly going to result in unrestrained vulgarity, as if I have no impulse control at all. I am European, therefore better with plenty of impulse control. Except around building grapes, actually. But secondly, if you ask any woman what do they want their ass to look like from behind, no pun intended of course, damn near all of them will say the one on the right. So the implication here being then that those women all want to look like porn stars and give men crippling addiction. Somehow I don't think that will go over very well. No wonder the gyms are plagued these days. According to this logic, it's full of aspiring adult film stars. Although the way they behave these days, you can be forgiven for thinking that's less funny and more factual. Oh, and on that front, because I'm a personal trainer and this needs to be said. Ladies, take a look at some anatomy charts and learn a thing or two. The function of the gluteus maximus is extension and external rotation. You do realize you can build a tank of an ass with basically two or three exercises, yes? First one being one-legged squats, or pistol squats as we call them. Nice and slow, ass to grass. If you can work your way up to say 10 to 20 of those without any assistance, regardless of your weight, you'll have a strong ass. Not only that, but you'll have fantastic core strength and balance and titanium knees because you're balancing all of that weight on a single joint. Second one, Bulgarian split squats or the reverse lunge. Personally, I prefer the split squat. Again, nice and slow. You can vary which muscle you're primarily targeting through pausing. If you want to target just the quads, do not stop. Allow the opposite knee to come just shy of touching the ground, back up, and do not lock out at the top because that will target the glute and take the tension off the quad. Keep the leg in perpetual motion. Try and do that for at least 60 seconds and around 4 or 5 seconds of rep, you will be clenching your teeth quicker than you think. If you want to target the glutes, do lock out at the top. Keep the locked out tension all the way down and back up, you'll feel the quad taking a lot less of the brunt. Do that until the burn is debilitating, and then stop. Anything further is a waste of calories. There you go, and that concludes today's lesson. Anyway, back to the video though. Let's be honest here for a moment, shall we? The social media environment in the present day does not help dispel this addiction notion at all. Given that it's devolved into a battle of pissing contest and no one has a fucking personality these days, you'll have one side denigrating every aspect of femininity and the other side blasting the opposition with an obscenely heightened version of it for no reason other than to piss them off. So both sides are objectifying women for ideological purposes. Both are cringe. Although over the size of the tits and ass or anything to go by, only one side is gay. Cheers for watching and once again, I apologize for nothing.